Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a method for sewing in your ends so that they don't come undone. So you'll need your work and a darning needle. First of all, when it comes to your ends, you want to make sure that you leave yourself a good few inches with the tails so that you can sew them in adequately so that they don't come undone. So you want to thread up your darning needle and we are quite simply going to use the rule of three. And what I mean by that is we're going to work backwards and forwards three times in order to make sure that this doesn't come undone. So I'm going to simply take my needle and go in between the stitches. Ideally you want to work in the stitches where you have used a similar colour. I like to go about an inch and a half or just over through the work and pull it through and then I'm going to go back the other way but I'm going to try and work into uh, different uh, stitches so obviously it's kind of getting entangled within itself so I'm going to go a similar way but try and wiggle it into the stitches a little bit differently and then pull that back through. Give your work a little bit of a pull when you're doing this just so you're not pulling it too tightly and it's creating, um, it's tugging on the actual stitches itself. And then I'm going to go back again the other way. So again, we're doing the rule of three. I'm bringing that through, pulling it tight and then you can simply snip off your yarn. So you've gone forwards, backwards and forwards again and you can be really confident that that is not going to come undone. So you would do that with all of your yarn ends and it just gives a really good professional finish. So I really hope you've enjoyed this super quick tutorial just to give you some extra tips for your crochet projects. If you did give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!